Today we're going to look at the basics of building an HTML page. There's a couple of things that every web page needs just to construct that part of the web page. I already have a file and it's saved as a .htm file, which is one of the HTML types of files. You can also have .html. The first thing we're going to put whenever we build an HTML5 page is we need to define the doc type and it's going to be up at the top. That's going to be your exclamation point, doc type, HTML. In some examples, you'll find people, they write the doc type in all uppercase. However, the specification says that this is case insensitive, it means it does not matter if it's uppercase, lowercase, or even mixed. I personally like to write all of my tags in lowercase. It's just a little bit easier for me not having to hold down the shift key and stuff like that. Now, some of the previous versions of HTML had much longer doc types, and there was a lot of technical reasons for this. That doesn't matter. With HTML5, it made it very simple. Your exclamation point and doc type, and then HTML. Now, sometimes you'll find people who say, oh, HTML5 is better because the doc type is smaller and your files can be smaller. You're looking at saving only about 20 characters. You have 20 characters to maybe 40 characters is what's going to make the difference between a fast and a slow website. You're way too close to that line. So ignore people that say stuff like that. The next thing we're going to need for an HTML page is we need an actual HTML tag. And this is going to have a closing tag. So I'm going to go ahead and write my closing tag right away. Reasons real simple. This way I don't forget to do it. Now, the web browser is probably going to display this, no problem. But I like to always have it in there right away. That way I don't forget. And that way I have a more correct web page. Inside my HTML tag, we could have two different tags. The first one usually is at the top and called head. It will also have a closing tag. And up in our head, we're going to have things like our page title and other what we refer to as metadata. We'll go into some other examples of what we'll find there later on. The important thing to note is what's inside of head is not displayed inside of our web browser. However, because it's metadata, it can be useful for a lot of other purposes and help control what we see inside of our web browser. Now, the part that we actually see inside of our web browser is going to be found in the body tag. And it also has a closing tag. If I say this, I can run this, and this is a valid HTML file. Now, it would not display any data, but this is a valid HTML file. Inside of our bias, we're going to have most of our tags. This is going to provide all of our content that we're going to see in display. We'll talk about our head and our body tags in separate videos. That way we can provide enough information about what's actually going on inside of them instead of putting them all in one big video.